Hello everybody and welcome back to PGR Brewster. Today what we're going to be doing is a lot of work around our industrial estate. We have got the bees over there, we've got the fish over here, and also the caviar plant just over here. So we've got to basically absolutely fill these water towers first of all. And to do this I've got a much larger water tanker which actually fits to the hook lift lorry which is just here. We're going to have to remove the container first of all, but that's easily done. And then we've got a Clark forklift to bring over. Now the Clark forklift is much bigger than anything we've had before. Obviously it's smaller than a telehandler, but it's bigger than a skid steer. All of these pallets here are totally full. They need to be loaded up to the trailer just behind the bee houses, which is just here. And in fact, that might fill it entirely. So we may be able to sell our very first load of um, honey, which would be very nice indeed. Let me just jump the fence. Let's get back over here. Look, everybody's waiting for us to bring some fish so they can create their caviar. Caviar is basically fish eggs. Expensive stuff. So the engine is already running. Let's head over there. I think actually before we go, just thinking about it, we might put the hook lift on this nice patch of grass which we created just here. It's been cut with this idea in mind. Yeah, it didn't really. Uh, but it's a great, a great place for it to go. We might as well make use of it. Uh, I need to move this thing. There we go. There's me thinking you have to have the container selected to remove it, but no, you don't. You only have to have the container selected if you want to tip it. But we want to remove it. Now that's leaving a, a muddy smear as it pushes itself across the grass. This lorry is also very mucky, surprising. Uh, okay, so it is now time to detach it. We'll bring the hook lift back. And I'm hoping this water uh, tank, which we're going to have on here, is going to be fairly big, because obviously we've got some pretty big silos to fill, or water towers to fill, just over there. Uh, but I suppose we could do multiple loads. Those bells can stay where they are for the time being. It's still very muddy here. It's actually this mud here which creates very mucky vehicles. If we'd put the track around that, which I could have done, and I still can do, then we wouldn't have to clean the vehicles half as often. Um, I don't know if we're going to have a vehicle washer or not. We could get a pressure washer and put it... Or did I get one? I might have got one. But yeah, either way, um, the, the vehicles probably should be cleaned. So it's just going to be a case of fitting it, and also we need to have the Clark forklift followers. Now the Clark forklift really should not be going down the road. It is an industrial forklift designed to obviously stay in an industrial estate and not actually leave it, certainly not drive down the road. Um, I mean what we should do really is have a low loader or something. But that would just take quite a lot of effort. And this isn't the realistic series, so yeah, it can just follow us down the road. Unless, of course, it only does about 5 miles per hour, in which case we're definitely going to put on a trailer. Because that would be fairly painful. Get the hook lift back up again. There it is, by the way. Huge machine. Must be a bit more square. There we go. Looking good. While that loads itself on, we'll go over to the other machine. Look at that though. That is so much better than the small one we have. Now admittedly, this is the first time I've used this fault lift, so I'm maybe a little bit uh, slow with it. Ooh, it's got windscreen wipers. Out of all of its features, that is the most interesting, because I am simple. No, I did not say that. That is a bad thing to say. No, it's a, it's a beautiful machine. Very useful. Um, <laughs> you can also open the doors. For getting in and out, obviously. Uh, just wondering, can you... Ah, there we go. That's better. Nice feature. So, what's his top speed? 18. 18 will do. Can't really imagine it doing 18. That's really fast. I will just... Oh, no. <laughs> I'll just tilt it back as much as possible, there we go. And that can follow us. How's that doing? 10 should be okay. Oh, I'm stuck on it. I'm stuck. 
and the game just crashed. I wasn't stuck at all. So this time I won't put it on to follow me because clearly there is something that it doesn't like about it. That particular mod must have an issue with follow me or something, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I don't want to keep crashing the game because I can't keep saving. We get very repetitive. So first things first, we're going to take this over to the farm to fill it up. We've actually got to take it over to the cow farm, I think it is, to have access access to the water. Um, now, yeah, I'm just hoping that it's going to have a really big capacity. It did say on the mod site I got it from, but I can't remember. I think it was something like 19,000 litres. Uh, maybe that's wrong. But if it is that, then that sounds good enough to me. We can't expect it to hold loads and loads, because it's obviously only so big. Um, but, yeah, either way. It still needs to be fairly decent. If I go up here, it's a bit like a footpath. Um, but yeah, I think it goes to the cow farm indirectly. So, yeah, it does. If we just keep going around here, we'll eventually get over to the water silo, which is just over there in front of us. Yeah, there it is. Oh, have I gone the wrong way? Oh no, it is around here. Good. The water silo. It could be a different one actually looking at it. That is a different one. How'd you get to it? There's a car in the way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that is a water silo but I can't reach it. Oh well. We'll have to just continue to the next one. There's our two water uh, silos. Water silos over there. Uh, can you get around here? I think not. We'll have to go this way. We have so many different tractors and pieces of equipment, but we don't really use them that much since we have diversified tons since we started off this farm. It started off being an arable only farm and it's turned into bees and fish. Yeah. We're keeping it unique. Right, at least now we should be in the right place to do this. Hopefully, it's going to allow us to fill it up somewhere around here. Please. I went for a lucky dip when I was picking this flegel, and it turns out I picked up the one for fuel instead of the one for water. Yeah, 50-50 chance, and of course I got it wrong. But anyway, we've got the correct one now, so that's all good. Uh, it does say on the back, so you probably even noticed that it was the wrong one before. Um, I could have probably got away with that, and hidden my stupidity, but no, I might as well just uh, tell you that I've changed the uh, the Flegel tank on the back. 20,000 litres, that sounds good to me. So now I'm hoping if we can leave it out of here. Um, oh, that's a bit... Oh, that is dirty stuff. Really sloppy mud. Um, ah. Ah. <laughs> that is a way out, but it's very tight. Very tight indeed. Um, yeah, I probably should have gone the other way, actually. Let's just see if it's possible. I I'd like to give this a go. See if we can get around this bend. No, we can't. Okay, so I'm now out of there, and we're in the correct place. I think the next thing to do, after we've dropped this first load of water, is to go and get the forklift. I'm going to save it first, though. Um, and the reason why is because I think, really... The priority is going to be to move this first pallet out of the way, because we've got one. We'll just leave that to do that. Uh, we've got a pallet of fish, a crate of fish, just over here. It is hovering, please ignore it. Um, yeah, it needs to be moved off there. I don't know if production continues until it's been moved, I'm not too sure. Uh, that's the water filling up, and that is the corn, 19,000 litres, so that's all okay. Um, but yeah, I think we do have to move it first. So. I'm just going to turn the engine off, and then we're going to go and teleport over to the forklift. I think I'll admit, though, that is a very useful tanker. Here it is. The forks will have to be set to the correct width, but we can do that in a second. Uh, let's put the beacon on. These things are so heavy. Even the small ones, which look really tiny, they weigh so much. I think it's because they're all ballasted. The back of them is just your weight because obviously if you've got a lot of weight on the front you have to have a lot of ballast in the back so I should think if you hit the back of this with a car the car would crumple and this would just 
been like, hmm, did a bug just land on me? Because it would be like no effect at all to it. Worse than hitting a brick wall. There are other versions of this as well, I've noticed. You can get different skins for it. Um, I think it was a cat or something. Caspilla. Um, but yeah, I just uh, decided to go for the one which was on Mod Hub. So I don't even know if the skins are author approved. It's nice and green, it blends in with the countryside. Now, even this one is probably too big for the very tiny gap I have left over at the bee farm. So I think what's going to have to happen is the bee houses are going to have to be sold, unfortunately. Unless you can't move the hives out. I mean, if you can't move the hives, you won't do, because that would be counterproductive. Um, but if you can, then they need to be sold and then move forwards, so we have more space. More access. Obviously, the telehandlers are just way too big. I'm going to go to the fish farm first because I need to get the production continuing over there. Um, yeah, it's nice in here. Oh, mud. It's going to be dirty already. Ooh, different camera angle. There are several pallets which are ready actually. Um, I'm not really too sure which one to start off with. Depends what we want to do. If we want to sell them as they are then I don't think there is any order you have to do anything in. If you want to take them to the caviar farm or caviar yeah caviar farm I suppose it would be uh, then yeah I don't know which one it is but this to me looks like fresh frozen fish so I doubt that it would be required um, let me just put this down a second Try and get the tilt right. Get this one moved off. Try and get this squared up a bit before we do this though. Oh, my camera angles. I suppose that's why this camera is fitted. It's very useful. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, I would say this is a, uh, yeah, a crate of a live fish. Uh, and then the one with the alive fish is, if I'm not mistaken, the one around here. So let's see if this is approved and taken. It is. So that should now start to produce caviar. I think the one in the front here is the caviar finished. Yeah, there we go. And the other one, I don't know. What is the other one? This is caviar. Or is it fish heads? I'm not too sure. This is caviar. Yeah, this is caviar. No doubt about it. But this is... Fish food? I'm not sure. We will wait and see what is produced. In the meantime, what we are going to do is go and take this over to the cell point. Because what we need to do is get some money in. And you'd hope it's worth at least a thousand pounds. Come on, you're a terrible stacker. You're, well, you can't even stack. You can't even get the uh, forks in the pallet. It's easier in real life. It has to be said. Oh, I think my. Uh, oh no, this is going from bad to worse. Okay, I think that is good. It does help if they're the right width. So we're now going to go down to the, or up to I should probably say, the cell point. Save. Auto save. Oh, this is going badly. Now the trigger must be somewhere at the front. Is it just going to disappear? It is. Watch the money. Wow, almost £4,000. I was expecting to get about 1000 That is so good. So what we need to do now is go over to the bee farm. I think we've probably finished with the fish farm for today. We will be continuing with the corn harvest, though. The combine is just there tomorrow. Because we need to obviously get some more food for them. 
Oh, look at the mud splash. And I get I get way too excited about the mud. Yeah, I'm gonna get these moves. This is such a whizzy about thing though. You can whiz about in it like mad. But yeah, there is definitely not enough space to turn in here, so again we're gonna have to pick them up with just one spike, one time. Um, like this. It does work. And you can actually get two on there like this, but we won't do. What I tend to do anyway is also stack the trailer just so it's neat. Okay, there is one. I work from the other side, I think, although uh, I didn't concrete around here, that's weird. I should have done. This one we can pick up properly. Production really does stop if you leave the crates full. Not a wise idea. There we go. That's a good one. Great forklift. Really good. You can drive through here, no problem at all. It's just turning. That's where the issue lies. Okay, good. Um, so just going back to see some feedback from yesterday's video. It appears to me that well, quite a lot, actually, um, of my viewers don't particularly like my realistic series. They prefer it when I do this kind of video. So, I don't know, maybe it's just because uh, the people who like the realistic series didn't comment and the people who don't did. Uh, but the thing which usually settles it is a vote. That's the best way of doing it. Hang on, wait. <laughs> I've just... Oh, you idiot. I've just picked up one which was new. Oh well. Not thinking straight. Too busy thinking about what to say. Let's move on to the next one. Before the next one appears. That one is going to respawn. Okay, there we go. I could get two. I really could pick up both of those two. I think we will do next time. We should stick to the concrete as well. Yeah, I've probably really messed it up now because I've put an empty crate on there and it's going to be one too many for auto stacking. Let's see if I can fit two to the forks then, one on each time. This one's reappeared so I mustn't get too confused. It's, it's not really hard to uh, keep track of these crates but clearly I have some train of thought. Come on, come on. It's too tight around here. Okay, and then if I try and get out of this very awkward position. To put it simply, no I couldn't do it. So I've already taken it over there, and here is the final one, which I'm going to now attempt to pick up. I should do it. Okay, we mustn't continue with the crate moving for too long, because we've got to go and sell these and see how much money we can produce. Uh, the issue is, I haven't got, I don't think, the sell point. We're going to have to get it. Right, there we go. That's that done. Park over here. Should be okay. Um, yeah, so the My Summer Car tractor is here. It isn't actually the one from My Summer Car. It is made for Farming Simulator. It's just, I think it's the same model. Um, yeah. Is that everything? No. Um, yeah, it's trying to also stack it now. We're free. And no, it did not auto stack correctly. So what I've done is I've just strapped them on. It seems to have worked okay. And I've also bought the uh, sell point. So the sell point was £20,000. Hopefully this is going to produce more than that, but I don't think it will do. It's just going to be one of those things we have to pay off over a long period of time. So here it is. I didn't put it too far away. I thought it would look quite good here. But we may have to put in some uh, tracks and stuff for it to work effectively. Yeah, because it's here. So what we're going to have to do is put a road in from the road here to here. Very simply, using the roller. But that'll be tomorrow. 
just a very quick job for us to do and yeah we'll continue with the harvest and maybe do some bear work over there I'm not too sure depends how much time I've got um, I mean today I only just managed to get this video done I've been working all day and literally just got back and I didn't re I, I don't have time really to do this it's just I'm making it a bit of a priority so yeah, I know a lot of people appreciate my videos so I can't really make you uh, miss out is that still selling? I think they're working they're sort of doing it one at a time there we go it's working very well How do we detach it? Unload to centre. Yep, and then unload. Whoa, what a mess. But this that has definitely worked. They're selling nicely. And there's one more on the trailer. Actually, there's nothing in that one, so it doesn't even need to be sold. Uh, there's two on the ground, though. I think next time we won't use the trailer because we're so close to the sell point that it just seems a bit of a waste of time. We might as well just use the forklift. So we use the forklift now to just push those two into there. And then I think we're going to call it a day. I think you'll have to admit though that the money which we produce there is very impressive. I suppose we could use the quad bike to push it in, but no, we'll do it properly. We'll use the forklift. Faster. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's not faster at all but it's fast for its capabilities. That is nasty mud. Making our vehicles very dirty. I think the road will probably either branch off here or from the cell point over there. Right, honey, lots of honey. Mmm, tasty stuff. So that was £1,716. Not bad at all. Last one. There we go. Oh, missed it. Oh, that's no, working good. Okay, then, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.